Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, it is finally here, the John Ruda Ram 3500. It's actually called the RVM, but using some mods, you can make it say Ram like I have right here on the front. You can get this for $25 on his website. Yes, it is uh, operational and taking payments. Uh, you can get all of his trucks that I use on that website, so check that out in the description below. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video with the wheel cam. We're going to go over the Ram 3500 here in Vernal right now. We're going to be going to Salt Lake City, taking a hot shot load over uh, there of cars, actually. This truck comes with two trailers, hot shot trailers. One is a car transport trailer, and another one is a gooseneck uh, for various different ki types of uh, cargo. So we're going to go through all that stuff at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end if you want to see the customization options for this truck. It does come with its own custom sound set with this Cummins engine, so I'm going to let you listen to it now. Here we are in the beautiful Ram 3500. I mean, look at the modeling. It is absolutely insane, I must say. Um, we're making a... looks like a left out of here. I need to put this thing into gear, I guess, first, don't we? Yeah. Because we're using automatic transmission. And uh, the Uconnect, you have options for that, what you display on there. I mean, this is one of the most incredible looking uh, hot shot mods that are out there. I mean, yeah, you have to pay for it, of course, but it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you, you kind of get what you pay for. And you can see the lighting on the outside is absolutely spectacular. If I go through my light modes, there's the headlights, there's them off, and there's the... Uh, daytime running lamps on with the secondary lights. It just, it looks so good. I can hit the I key and change between the different options here on the dash. Uh, I'm gonna go with the digital dashboard, but I want to show you the options that are in there, um, which is absolutely awesome. It's just like the real thing uh, when it comes to your dash options. Okay, we're making a left out of here. Not in reverse there, Jeff. We're in first gear, right? Yeah, should be. There's a truck coming here on the left-hand side. You can also change the style of rear view mirrors that we have. We have it in towing option right now, but you can change it to the side mirror as well. All right, we're making a left. We'll roll the windows up later on. I just want you to listen to this wonderful mod. It is, it is a joy, especially after, you know, the last experience we had, we bought uh, the Brazil Ford and uh, it was not, you know, accurate and it was not that great, but this thing, man, I'll tell you what, pretty darn cool. And there's that blue stuff again. I I haven't found what's causing that yet. I did a, uh, validated all my files. I just don't know which mod is causing that problem. So we'll probably have that happen again today. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure it out myself. There's the big pink dinosaur here in Vernal. And uh, Invernal, I gotta say, uh, I chose this for a reason, and you'll see it later on down the road. Oh man, look at the traffic in this town. Um, you'll see later in a video why we're here in this particular area. I have some options, uh, or have some ideas uh, when it comes to the next uh, flight sim video, aside from doing, you know, the uh, commercial flying that we normally do. Look at the dinosaurs there. It's awesome. Neat little park here. And we're using JBX uh, as far as graphics goes for all the skyboxes and everything. Okay, what is this guy doing? Is he hit Okay, I think it's like Amazon, but he's not stopping. I think he's hitting people and then he's putting that on. Okay, we're gonna get around him. I don't know what his deal is. No, just kidding. Just kidding. I thought he was hitting a car in front of him over and over again, which he still might be doing. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Not worried about it. The Heritage Museum is where we're at right now. Look at this. Right. Got a Cobra up here turn right. on the right-hand side. Some other statues. But yeah, that Cobra up there is awesome, man. Really cool. Always love the look of that helicopter. Anywho. Uh, oh, there's a fountain over here or something. Water main break or something. I can't remember. I haven't been here in a while, actually. But I did want to say happy uh, Tuesday to all of you guys. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Now, over the weekend, I did go to the movies and I saw Top Gun Maverick. And we're going to talk a little bit about that here. I'm um, going to try not to give out any spoilers, so don't worry about that. 
but I can highly recommend it. <laughs> Go see it. Um, if you were kind of on the fence because the first Top Gun had, uh, you know, that cringy kind of moment acting here and there, um, you're not going to like, you're, you're still going to get those kind of things. No matter. I mean, it's a movie. Um, but to me, I think they did better in this one. I think a lot of people that think that the old one is so great, um, are just clinging on really hard to nostalgia. When you, when you watch that as an adult, um, or even recently, um, it doesn't hold up as well as, uh, you would think it would. It's kind of just kind of weird in some parts and there's some, you know, some decisions they made. Uh, in that movie that you're like, I don't know about that. Uh, this new one, though, I can safely say I was absolutely blown away by it. I loved it. Um, I thought it was better than the first one in a lot of regards. Um, some people are just hung up on the F-14 Tomcat, and uh, if, you're, if you're more so you know, into just the, the whole gist of it and the way they filmed it, you know, having real experience in the... This dude is an idiot in this Amazon van. I mean, he just slams the brakes on you so hard. We can make our iron red. No biggie. No, we can't. Apparently not. According to that cop, he was like, nope, you can't make a ride on red here, buddy. Sorry. Even though we came to a complete stop. Doesn't matter. Yards, turn left. I'm sure I'm going to get sidetracked here. I'm sorry about that. Turn but, left. um, you know, apart from the F-14 Tomcat and all of that with the original, I really, really think this new one is its own special thing. It really is. Highly recommend it. Go see it in theaters. Um, and, I, and I rarely ever say, hey, go see a movie in theaters. But man, you got to see that one in theaters. So if you have seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. No spoilers. Let's keep it uh, safe for everybody. I know that movie had just come out and some people are waiting to, to go see it when they have free time and all that. So we'll get down there. Uh, we'll get to the spoilers later down the road, I guess, after we can discuss it a little bit. Being in, uh, you know, aviation myself, I can say I am... Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, left turn up here. Now, I'm not like a, you know, a fighter pilot or anything like that, obviously, but for me, it was uh, more than satisfactory. Oh, I thought we were making a left turn up here, but we're not. A little further down the road. Okay. Left turn right here. I don't know where we're picking these cars up, man, but it's out in the middle of nowhere, and they want us to take it to Salt Lake City. I mean... That's all well and good, but man, we could have just taken that same road. You see how this all connects? I guess the GPS was like, no, this is actually quicker. Yeah, yeah that goes. Straight. Yeah, I'll continue straight. We're making a right turn up here, I guess. All right, you got it, buddy. Um, It's this place up here on the right. All right, After whatever you say. Yards, turn right. But the filming, the way they did the, the new Top Gun. It is just so incredible. Like, really, really cool how they, they pulled it off. And uh, we're going to make a right turn here. And they had the actors actually sit in the back of these jets during the sequences that they were filming and had to act on at the same time. Sorry, buddy. I, I have a big trailer. I have to get around a, a cute angle. Sorry about that. Um, and that was really impressive. And no matter what, pulling G's and acting at the same time is really cool. And they also had to operate the camera equipment as well and direct themselves because you, know, you can't have a director up there in the airplane with you. Truck, you're good. I think we're going on a dirt road, it looks like. We're going to see the off-road capabilities. You might see me getting thrown around. I am in my motion rig here, the uh, Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3. Yep, dead end, we know. You got it. Yeah, it's down here at this building. I don't think I've ever been here before. If I have, I really don't remember. Got a bunch of towers and stuff out here. It's such an eerie place. Uh, <laughs> in this basin. I'll just say that. That's why I have chose this particular spot today. And man, with the JBX mod and with my NVIDIA overlay just crushing the blacks a little bit. It just, it looks so good. It 
really does. UOP. All right. We need to come down here to the entrance and then we're going to talk to them, see where these cars are they want us to pick up. Turn left. And then we can get on our way to Salt Lake City. It'll be another long video. I wanted to be a longer one because if you've been on the fence about buying this truck, maybe this will help you make your decision. I've been waiting for a long time for it. I really have. And I know John pretty much had this thing wrapped up and done. Uh, just had to wait to get his store in order to where everybody could actually buy it. All right, UOP. Let's talk to oh, this is the guy right here. He knows. You have reached your destination. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm here for the cars. Not much of a talker. Okay, gotcha. You got it, bud. All right. Well, they're going to tell us where they want this thing, so let's figure it out. Here we are, cars. 13,137 pounds out to Salt Lake City. Making $3,000 on it, and it has a urgent delivery on it, so we don't want to dilly-dally. Cargo's ready to be loaded. All right, apparently it's up here on the left after we enter this place. So we should see where they want it to be, which is right here. Oh, we can just do the whole pull-through. All right, cool. Let's do exactly that. We'll do the pull-through. That's easy enough. You know, if you don't have to back, don't back. Here we go. Do that suspension. Oh, yeah. That's, that's in there. <laughs> Get our trailer across the way, too. I'm interested to see how this thing drives. Dude, this is the best. Like, this is right there with that. Remember that 1980s uh, F1 or F350 I did a mod showcase on? It's right there with it. This feels very planted in the ground. It doesn't have that skatey feeling that you get with a lot of these car mods or, you know, and it's not a semi truck in this game. Same thing uh, goes for it here. All right, this is where we're going to be picking up the cars. So wait for this thing to go green. There we go. Sounds good. Let's do it. Loading that cargo. Don't pay attention to the time. It is incorrect. There we go. Check it out. We got a charger here on the front. And we've got uh, what appears to be a Mercedes Benz some sort of uh, SUV there. And then we have a G35 Infinity. Uh, not a G35. Is it a G35? I think it is. It's an Infinity for sure. Very cool. All right. Well, let's get on our way. All right. It's in drive. And we can feel a little bit of pull there for sure. As far as the, the weight on the back of the trailer. Didn't seem like it wanted to launch as easy as as it did before. I was interested to see how that was going to play out. Around this way we go. We're going to get on our way. Not messing around. Like I said, I don't want to be super late today. That would uh, not be ideal. You know, I think I'll get a screenshot of us in this yard Turn left. before we get out on the road. So let me go ahead and do that. Screenshot right around that corner. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's roll this window up. There we go. Going back to Top Gun. Very cool that, uh, you know, that's real G-forces and uh, everything with the acting that they did. I, I was just really, really happy with it. I was happy with the storyline, the way they chose uh, to pick it up after so long. Um, it had the moments of nostalgia. Uh, the intro of the movie was just so good. And, like, those are the things that made me really, really happy to see it in the theater. So I can uh, just recommend that and say, hey, go, ha go, ha go watch it in theaters uh, when you get free time. Or, you know, you can wait for it to come out, but I think it's going to stay in theaters for a little bit longer than we all anticipate, I would imagine. All right. Let's get out of Vernal, finally. We need to make a right. I think we're going to be going a different route than I thought. That's okay. I'm just going to follow the GPS. And, man, having that huge GPS on there is really cool. I didn't even need to have my iPad out here today. I usually have my iPad up for that, and I don't have to do that, so... There you go. Uh, this is a Sparkle R3A3 rim I'm using today. Yards, turn right. I like to have something kind of like similar to what we're using. Turn right. If I have one, which I do. Oh man, look at this Ram. He's doing some hot shot trucking too. It looks like a like an ATV trailer, like a toy trailer or something. No, I've seen that one before. That's the trailer that's in uh, that you can use for the the other truck. Came with the, the 80s F-350. Right. All 
right, turn at the T. Turn right. Man, this is this is a great driving experience here in this Ram. This is good stuff. All right, we're good. Yep, nobody there. Remember, this is an urgent delivery, so we need to get on the road as quickly as possible and no messing around. You know, we got to do it safely and, and get the job done correctly, but... Oh, and here is instantly some uh, some traffic. Great. We're going to be in this for a minute, it looks like. I mean, that's all right. You do have uh, air brake sounds. I think a lot of that is because I have the Z-Mod sound set in here. Uh, is for the air brakes. And, you know, those are things that you can't really get around because they don't have a particular, like, setup for vehicles like this in American Truck Simulator. Uh, just a quick update. We are still in traffic. You see a truck back there try to pull out, and these guys are, like, backing up here on the left. Um, but this dude here is just not going. It's a stop sign. You make a right at the stop sign. Uh, he's just not going, and we're all kind of just stuck here at the moment. All right, buddy, keep going. There you go. We're finally getting out of here. Finally, finally. It just took forever, man. It really did. There's another truck coming there. That looks like he's going to let us out. Thank you, bud. Appreciate that. Watch out for this one, though, man. He's really whizzing out, isn't he? We give ourselves some room for our trailer. There we go. No problem. That was actually perfect. All right, we're finally back on the road. Man. Well, that's going to definitely set us back a bit. More than I thought, you know, it would. Is it called the Duchesny? I think is what it is. That fort. Right here between Vernal and uh, Duchesny. Which is cool because Duchesny is going to be right around that spot that we're going to be checking out in the sim soon enough. The flight sim. Keep and do a little bit of an aerial tour of that spot. If you know, you know. But we don't need to ruin it for others. All right. Pelican Lakes there on the left. Yep. I know where I'm at. I do, I do. Okay, 65 through here. Going to be really tough to keep it up to speed. Especially, now we're going through another town here. The Yinta River. Yeah, we're still in the Yinta Basin here. Keep right. And we're going to be in it for a while. Yeah, Pelican Lake's just to the left. I know where that's at. That's cool. And I'm still stuck behind the same guy that I wasn't stuck. <laughs> I was stuck behind there in Vernal for a while. What's that cop doing? He just came to like a complete stop there in the intersection. Who knows? Oh, we got the green. Sweet. Ooh, there it is. Chicken. Every time we we drive in this sim, man, it's just nonstop. Here's food. Here's food. We got Moomoo's on the right. They have something to do with it as well. Okay, buddy. Just pull right on out in front of us. No problem. Look at that structure there. That's cool. All right, let's get up the hill here, buddy. I got her completely floored right now. Pedal to the metal. And you're seeing the pulley power right here, which actually is doing pretty darn good there. A lot better than I thought it would. All right, 50, we can do 65 through here. It's just kind of crazy, isn't it? it? Seems a little narrow to be doing 65, but that's all right. If we can get away with it, we will of a turn coming up here, but oh man, I can feel the swaying of that trailer back there. Pretty interesting. Yeah, let's slow down for this corner here. Yeah, they say 55, but yeah, we're not taking this thing in 55 miles an hour, not with this trailer of cars. That's just not going to be a viable thing. And yeah, we're going to be on Highway 40 here. So, I am going to be in St. Louis this weekend, I'm flying out on Friday, and I'll come back home on Monday. So, on my Twitch channel, I won't be streaming on that uh, particular the particular day. I think I'm going to actually miss out on a race, unfortunately. But, I'm going to St. Louis for the Cup Series race. 
It's the first time the NASCAR Cup Series, the Truck Series has been there a few times, but uh, this is the Cup Series that's going to be at what used to be called Gateway International Raceway, and now it's the WWT Raceway. Worldwide Technology. Go straight. Okay. So when you choose a engine on this thing, there's an option, or sorry, not an engine, but the uh, suspension. There's a four-wheel drive option for this, or you're just using the two-wheel drive. Uh, and the four-wheel drive, it says in there, here in Duchesne, I think, it says there that uh, there may be issues with the force feedback. So that's why I didn't choose that. But there is a four-wheel drive option, if you're wondering. Okay, so we're in Duchesne now, and we're going to be going through the town. And I'm slow down a little bit more here. I'm still going to do five over the limit here, because I want to make... Straight. Laura, buddy. We'll take the... There it is. He got us. We have a, you know, an urgent delivery. Oh, there's the... There's that little anomaly that keeps popping up. I'm not sure what's causing it. Like I said, I've tried to do the verify game uh, files and all that stuff like people were telling me to do and just nothing. I'm sure it's a mod, but I got to find out which one's causing it. And I have a bunch of mods. If you do buy this truck, make sure you read all the documentation that comes with it. It tells you what mod load order to have everything in, you know, all, all that. So. Don't just throw it in there willy-nilly and jump into the sim. Because uh, you're probably not going to get a good experience out of it if you do it that way. I'm liking this, though. I really have been enjoying the hot shot trucking, and this is no different. The view area here. Read some of these signs. Such a beautiful part of the country here. Weather info. Well, I can't go through the truck in front of me. Privation reservation. There's a lot of Native American tribes that were out here, and I think a lot of these are these uh, reservations are still operational today. With their own sheriff's department and all that. Could be wrong about that. Man, this I'm noticing with the motion platform, it's it's a little floaty left and right. Ever since I had that trailer loaded, when I didn't have it loaded before, I didn't feel it tugging in the truck around like this, but this feels, I am feeling it. And you can see it in the suspension right now. It's kind of floating around. You gotta be careful with the amount of speed you're taking these corners at. Keep left. Okay, we'll keep left. We're going straight. We're going through the mountains now. Let's get her up to speed here, man. I don't think this has a jake brake in it. We'll try it though. It has an engine brake sound. Not sure how accurate that is for a Ram 3500, but who knows? I have a feeling that right lane's gonna end soon, so that's why I'm not getting in there yet. We're gonna be going up into the mountains, I would imagine. It's gonna go down to a two lane highway. Or maybe we have to turn right onto the road. Nope. I need to get over anyway, though, if that is the case. But we get around this truck, that would be wonderful. Now, I uh, haven't uh, adjusted the middle mirror there. I probably should have done that. I don't know which one that's uh, linked to, but I didn't adjust it. So that's the reason why it's all screwed up looking. And this truck has a sunroof option. You can choose to not have it or what, but uh, I chose to have one. All right, there's a bus passing us. You know that's bad. When a bus is passing you, you're going too slow. Although I was following this guy here, and I'm sure this right lane's going to end. Yes, it is. But now we're going to be stuck behind the bus. But to be fair, he was faster than us. I mean, some elevation here now. Beautiful drive. But yep. Oh, never mind. I guess it's closed. I thought I chose the sunroof option. Eh, maybe I didn't. That's okay. Watch out for deer crossing here. That won't be here.
What do you guys think? You think it sounds accurate to the Ram 3500, the Cummins in it? I don't know. I've never been in one. My Ram I own is a uh, Hemi. Port of entry, one mile. Loading things in. Back our windows here. It's open when flashing. I don't know what that means. Do we have to come in? Yep. They want us to come in. All right. We'll, we'll do what they say. I don't want to get in trouble. If we don't have to. They just want to make sure that, we, you know, everything we have is where it should be. And we don't have to go over there to the x-ray machines or anything like that. We're just going to go straight around this way and, and just go to the way station spot where everybody else is. And those flags look really good in the wind, I must say. You know what? After this, we're going to come to a stop. I'm going to try to see if I can adjust that, that mirror because that's all screwed up looking. And I had just noticed that. Three miles per hour on scale, please. All right. 29,238 pounds. Okay. That's the best I could get it. I uh, had to scoot it all the way over to the left and then all the way down. So it's definitely bugged out. It might be something to do with the FOV mod that I use for the mirrors. That could be messing with it. Usually in a lot of those cases, it's always a me problem rather than, you know, it being the mod itself. I had that problem with that the 80s F350. I just could never get a working mirror in the middle there. And uh, it was all on, on my on my end. So it's something that's in my system that was not in there for anybody else. I really don't know why, but we're in Heber here. Look at that. Got a balloon up in front of us. That's actually pretty darn cool. Uh, we should be good on fuel. Since I just bought this thing, it's usually completely loaded full of fuel. We're getting closer to our destination. After these mountains, we'll be in Salt Lake City. Oh, come on, cop. Really? You're going to block this? I might be able to get by him here, no problem. Without hitting him, maybe? Just maybe. Yep, we should be good there. Yep. Another one here on the right. In the Taurus. Lux Bus America. I do need to go back and uh, do another uh, drive in in the sim or the game, the bus. It had an update. Look at that. There's a Ram 3500. Uh, there was an update for it for a new route and stuff. So I will be checking that out before too long. It took so long for them to do something with that game, you know, like they were working on it. But man, it had so much promise. And then it just it's just a huge letdown with just lack of updates. And that happens to so many different games. It really does. But I have a ton on the back burner. <laughs> I really do. We want to uh, do a lot more with uh, Motor Town and some other ones that have been updated recently. And we'll get there eventually. All right, this bus is gonna be fast. There's the cop. Salt Lake City, yep, we're 50 miles out. I'm going to get in the right lane here. I, I'm sure it's going to end soon, but if we can get around this truck. That'd be fine. And we're slower traffic, technically. Yeah, I can definitely feel that trailer moving around back there. Pretty darn cool. Our windows up on the right. I love that wind rushing sound. Just gives you that uh, immersion of driving down the highway with the window just cracked like that. Getting a few slowdowns and stuff here and there. I'm not sure what's causing that. 
But you know what? That's, that happens. Whenever you move from a version that was so wonderful and then you get a new version of the game that comes out, it breaks all your mods and you have to start all over again. It's it's more than frustrating sometimes. Let me get in the left lane here. It's like, you know, I wish you could just be left alone, but left after it isn't the case. It's always something got changed and then this breaks and then this breaks. We'll turn left when we can. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. All these mountains and all that. Oh, to be fair, you know, with Utah and even Idaho, I always, uh, the way I run this game with 400 scaling and all that, uh, it's pretty demanding of the sim. I would tend to uh, get some slowdowns in those parts of the, uh, of the US. So I'm not really surprised by that. And I could just drop my scaling down. I'd, I'd have my frames back like great, but it, it's only once in a while it's doing that. Other than that, I'm getting really good frame rates here. So our most valuable resource sits here. Would you do it superior? You yield to me. Thank you. Throw our window up here. Get on the highway. This is where we can make up some time. Maybe just a maybe. These cars where they need to go. Yep, we're 20 miles out of Salt Lake. I'm not sure where in Salt Lake we're dropping these at either. We're on Highway 80. Let's get around this guy. It's gonna be a little dicey, so get ready for it. It's not liking this speed. <laughs> dude, that dude is flying though. Holy mackerel. Okay, I'll get back in the right lane then. If he's gonna go that fast, I'm gonna go. Oh man, this is, uh, I'm feeling it really good in the motion platform today. All right, right side, 15 south we want. Nope, stay in this lane. I think it's this lane. Yep, Salt Lake. Not going to Vegas. I thought I had the, oh, there's that engine brake. lane ends of course it does the one we're in always ends this car we should be good there's another truck coming but we'll be fine here that guy's at a complete stop that's always scary when they do that sorry man i would i'd let you on if i could but exit only after 50 yards exit right ahead it's right but is it the left lane in the right i think it is exit right ahead. no it looks like we just stay in the right lane all the way Okay. Welcome to Salt Lake City, everybody. The fun factory there. Careful around this corner. It seems like we're going slow, but I mean, all things considered, we're pulling a trailer with three cars on it, you know? I mean, you're not going to be flying around town with that at all. One more lane here, just in case. Yeah, very sway with that back there. We're back up to 70 miles an hour now. I'm okay with that. I'm comfortable with it in a straight line. See, it doesn't sway in a straight line. It's only when we're moving that trailer around and you're feeling it. It's pretty cool. Not sure how realistic that is. Okay. But never did really hot shot trucking, but back in the day whenever I did some contract work stuff, um, we would have a big truck and with a trailer that had the Bobcat on the back of it. And I remember it pulling the truck around a little bit at speed. So it's not like out of this world or, you know, like it's not like a really, really, it's plausible. I'll say that but I, it's been so long, I don't know. But those of you that do hot shot trucking, let me know how uh, accurate that is for something that uh, of the size we have here today. Right. After 50 yards, exit I gotta say, what a beautiful drive it's been though. Really has been awesome. Good to be back here in Utah. 
Ooh, that guy's slamming the brakes. What are they doing up there? That car on the right lane just like was doing that. All right, two state route 201 to the left. Up, oh, that's what we want. Man, these skyboxes from JBX are just so good. They really are amazing. It's like building storms out in the distance. And the skyboxes move, like I said. Over time, they do uh, they do move. If you go into the photo mode and you move it back and forth, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, we're taking the outer road back around, it looks like. Yep. And loop. Loop it back around here. Looks like it's going to be at the light. Yeah, I will. I'll roll our windows down so we can listen to the wonderful sounds when we're in Salt Lake City. And the engine sounds that come with this truck. But I can see myself using this truck quite a bit. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. On the motorcycle. Oh man, I thought that truck was gonna kill it on the motorcycle. It looked like it, didn't it? Um, I will uh, work at uh, updating Jazzy Cat mods for the latest and greatest because I'm I'm out of date on a lot of these models. Maybe it's a bad car model that's causing that. I don't know. Stay in this lane because we have to make another left. Once I get where I'm going and we drop off, I'll uh, I'll change it to uh, nighttime so you can see the night lighting in the truck too, because I'm sure some people will want to see that. All right, prepare to stop. Yep. But this is a rough ride, I gotta say. So far with this trailer, it's been a rough ride. Like no joke. 8400 West. Oh, we've made it. We'll see if we're going to be late. Oop, there's green. Uh, we'll see if we're going to be late after that. All that traffic we had in Vernal. Not this one, but the next. This is the place we're going. Right here. All right. You going to open that gate for us, folks? Looks like it. I don't know why they need cars here, but maybe it's just going to be a spot we drop off and somebody else is going to take it the rest of the way somewhere else. That's always possible. All right, where do you want us to drop this thing at? Down here on the left, a little bit further still. guy working really hard there yes we have oh I know where this is at I know this fob you go to the right here and then back it into this little spot on the left that's all you gotta do I guarantee it Let's see how this goes Yep, right back in there. Exactly. Exactly the case. All right. Let's roll this thing back this way. Yeah, it's got those awesome air brake sounds. Kind of unnecessary with this truck, but it's cool that they're there. All right, this trailer's going to throw me off, man. Go real easy in this thing. I can I can tell you right now that reverse it wants to go fast in reverse, which is throwing me off a little here. You have to like kind of ease it in. If you just leave it in, like I'm not even giving it any gas, you can see it's moving. Let's give it a little bit of gas at a time. You might be in a better spot here. There we go. One thing that's nice about having a hot truck deal here is you can see. Through the back glass a little bit when you're backing these in 
I can't tell how close I am to that wall though, because this is a blind back. Go to the left a little bit more here so I can get more of an angle. There we go. I'm gonna bring that back this way more. Like the physics are kind of strange on these short, short trailers like this because it wasn't designed for it, you know? And you can tell. You can tell that it wasn't. There we go. I think we're gonna be in a good spot right here if we just follow it back now. But nope, it really wants to wiggle that thing really hard to the right. All right, I can see it now. There's the back of our, okay, we're in there. Perfect. Let's come on back with it. But yeah, I just gotta go real easy on the, the gas because that thing wants to just sail on you, like quickly. There we go. Now I'm gonna straighten the whole truck out here. Make sure I didn't hit anything, we're good. So this is, so far the reverse is just kind of annoying to deal with. It's really quick on this transmission. Oh, we missed it by a lot. <laughs> That's all right. Let's go straight here. We'll have it nice and everything's ready to go there for that wrecker that we had before. All right, let's just bring this thing back ever so slightly. Just got to ride the brakes. Jeez, man. Okay, so that's the only thing I don't like about the truck so far is just having to deal with reverse. Reverse is kind of important too, you know? It really is. It might be all right here. Yeah, this should be good. Straight back from here, we should get the, get the green. Get, man, it just really wants to take off. There it is, right there. Sweet, we'll take it. All right, let's shut this thing off and let's unload it. Let's see them, uh, see if they're gonna yell at us here. I think they might. We got an excellent, so we weren't late. 41 miles, two hours, 13 minutes, 2.4 gallons of fuel consumed. All the time asked about graphics, so here you go really quick. You can just kind of look and see what I have going on here uh, and you can pause it and you'll know why it is all here. But I do want to show you all of the options we have on this truck. So it is under the Peterbilt dealership. If you want to uh, buy the Ram 3500, go to purchase here and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And here is the truck as you get it uh, by default. So you have just the one eight inch box crew cab uh, and then the chassis. That's what I was talking about before. The 3500 four-wheel drive option is force feedback issues possible, but it is there if you want it. The Cummins 6.7 liter turbo diesel at 400 horsepower is what you get. And then you have some options in the transmission, the AS69RC uh, six speed. Uh, then you have the 68 RFE is an option as well. Uh, and two interiors, you have the limited black and the limited blue. If you want to go that route with the cream and the blue, looks really cool. Uh, paint jobs, you do get a template uh, it comes with snow white here. You can also change the color of whatever you want it to be. Same thing with, you know, custom metallic colors as well. Um, whatever you want it to be. Then you have decals you can throw on there. Uh, or these are the ones that, uh, came with the truck, the, uh, the paints. You have these different decals here. You've got Cummins incorporated there. If you want to look like a work truck, power wagon, etc., etc. Quite a few there, uh, when it comes to, uh, to skins. Very nice. And you can also change the color of it, obviously, if you would like. Um, and then over here. Here's all of our accessories. So starting at the bottom here, you've got uh, different bumper options here. Then you have a little plate mount if you want it. Uh, uh, quite a few options on the grill here if you want to uh, make it more uh, like your truck in real life or all the different options that are out there. You make it colored, chrome or matte black uh, to make it more like a work truck. And then you have all of these kind of all strewn together here. And to get to them uh, in a better way, uh, I will go into a walking mode here first person walk up to it so we can see it better here and clicking on here you have different uh, ram uh, emblems here it'll say rvm by default like i said you have to have that different uh, mod and get on the steam workshop uh, for that a lot of options here when it comes to the grills a lot of cool options with this and i was really happy to see this you can customize it to uh you know whatever you want it to be which is really neat uh then you have options here like the different headlight options tintum uh, LED colored, all that kind of stuff. And then you have the different uh, frames. You can have it colored if you want, chrome. 
Uh, then we have options for the headlights themselves for the glass. Uh, you can have tinted headlights. Uh, then you have the side markers. You can make them clear, make them dark, whatever you want that to be as well. Up here, you have options for the different hood emblems right here on the side, uh, which is really cool. And then we have options here for the different uh, Cummins logo. You can change that out. Uh, you can black everything out if you want to, you know, make, you can black out everything actually, which is really neat. Uh, then you have doorstep options here. Uh, if you would like the wheel package comes with it, you get the Ram type one um, and the one you have a Ram type one black as well. If you want to black those those wheels out, which is kind of cool. And then options here, you just have the Goodyear, Goodyear Wrangler. Man, say that fast. I'm trying to hurry through this. I'm sorry. Uh, middle trim limited options there. You have the fenders. You can color them. You can make them matte black as well. You can make it a work truck if you want to, you know, and that's really, really cool. You have a lot of options here when it comes to that. That's the interior. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's get out of that mode. Uh, and then up here, you have the roof of the sunroof, uh, roof with sunroof, no shade. And then you have uh, roof standard. I think I had the standard on the last one. I think that's uh, what I ended up going with there. Uh, then you have bottom trim. You can change that into a colored mode there as well. Uh, back here, you have an option for the side markers. Here you got, uh, you know, uh, white or dark and uh, original. In the back, you have some options here with blacking out all this stuff if you want to as well, which is really cool. Uh, same thing with the, the emblem. You know, you can just kind of make it all cool and, and you can tint the glass on it. Um, options there on that. Quite a few options for the exhaust. You do times two on things too, which is really neat. Um, I just chose that single uh, solo one on the right there for mine today. Um, so options with all of that uh, is there. And in the back, you can make the uh, half uh, tinted, the half back glass tinted or normal, which is really neat uh, if that's your your thing, you know, and then uh, we can go in the interior. I'm just seeing if I missed anything here. I don't think I did. I'm showing you pretty much everything I can. Uh, and then the interior here, you have options for all of this stuff. Change out the wheel to a black wheel or a blue one or, you know, all that stuff. SISL compatibility and also the DLC uh, for the interior stuff is uh, also compatible there. Um, and then up here, you have different, you know, all that. Have something hanging if you would like. Uh, here's your different body trim um, that you can change on the sides on the outside. That was one of the outside ones, but pretty much uh, like you can with anything else, throw pillows in here, whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can change the, the bed color to be encoded or just having a colored bed back there. And we come back here, I'll show you. You'll see it's now just a painted bed. And if we change the color of it, um, especially this here, you see how it changes with it. Pretty cool. But yeah, this color is changeable too. that uh, decal. I want to show you that. Really neat options when it comes to all that stuff. I think it's a fantastic truck. Definitely worth 25 bucks to me. Um, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Oh, there you go. Sunroof or no shade. There you go. I, had, I think I had the, yeah, I had the that one there or standard even. I can't remember which one it was, but it is there. I was just uh, dumb in that one. But yep, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.